Hello everyone, my name is Sulab. I am the cyber security expert. So in this video, I am going to uh, talk about how to become a SOC analyst or how to start your career in SOC analyst. So basically, you know, right, a SOC analyst is an IT job under cyber security. So you need to have basic knowledge and hands-on experience in laptop desktop, especially Windows operating system. Apart from that, uh, in, in SOC, we are actually, in cyber security, we are actually, you know, uh, going to secure a network, going to secure a data. So, if you want to secure your network, if you want to secure your data, it's very important to have the knowledge of network. Then only you can plan to secure it. So, first of all, you should get some basic knowledge of network as well as various devices to secure the network. Network devices such as routers, which is DSCP, DNS, how these devices work, as well as from security concept, firewall, IPS, IDS, DLP, email gateway, proxy. These are some of the tools, a widely used tool, which are being used to secure the network. If you want to have detailed knowledge of it, I have created a playlist in my YouTube channel, same channel. Uh, name is SOC Foundation course. You can refer that course, it's around 40, uh, around uh, 15 to 16 hours. So you'll have a good foundation uh, for the basic, uh, you know, concept from network and security perspective. Apart from that, you know, right, uh, from SOC perspective, SIM is the main tool, SIEM, Security Information and Your Management Tool, is the main tool which we refer, which we use in the company to monitor the real-time threat, uh, you know, either an incident in case of any attack is happening, right? We can, you know, get the alert on the SIM. So it's very important to have the hands-on experience, hands-on knowledge on the SIM, especially industry's leading SIM solution. Apart from that, if you want to become expert in SOC, you want to become a SOC expert. In that case, you can also get some hands-on experience on the next generation security tools such as EDR, XTR and so on. This is from, uh, you know, hands-on experience perspective. Apart from that, uh, from a cyber security analyst or SOC analyst, it is also expected that you should have some basic knowledge of the different, different attacks such as cross-site scripting attack, you know, uh, uh, SQL injection attack, attack, right? And such of the, some, some of the more concepts such as, uh, you know, mid-tray framework, cyber kill chain, right? So some of the, those topics I have mentioned on the description of this video. You can refer that, that is also important because apart from your practical experience, interview can also ask the question from this concept. Also, being a SOC analyst, you know, it's very important to keep yourself updated with the latest cyber attack latest cyber security vulnerabilities that you can refer with some of the news website or some of the telegram channel such as the hackers news beeplink computer and tv cyber security news is some of the you know uh, web pages that you can refer also in cyber security especially for SOC certifications are very important right if you are certified it will add value in your resume. It's not mandatory here in cyber security, but if you are certified, it will add value in resume. So if you are the beginner, I'll recommend you that uh, you can do some kind of free certification which are available in the internet. But if you're financially good, you can do the certification such as EC Council CES, CompTIA Security Plus, right? Apart from, apart from that, CISA, CSP is some of the advanced level of certification. So uh, this is the career path for SOC analyst. If you want to become SOC analyst, you can follow my this YouTube channel as well as we also have a real time hands on training with SIM expert where we cover everything on the one one go on the one class. Okay, thank you everyone.